Congratulations, you've said yes to a leadership role with your RSO, and the Maverick Involvement Team is excited to work with you. Today I will help you understand the difference between a 901 account and an off-campus bank account, so then you can make decisions on how your RSO chooses to manage your money. First, I'll share the pros and cons of a 901 account, then I'll share the pros and cons of an off-campus bank account, and then lastly I'll share with you how MIT can support your RSO. There is no right or wrong answer, RSOs can choose one or the other or both. It's really up to you, your leadership team, and your RSO advisor. So a 901 account. Business Services provides accounts to hold money for RSOs here on campus. The account number starts with 901, and so we call them 901 accounts. RSOs deposit money into their 901 account at Business Services. The part that's surprising to some is how to spend the money. For most RSO purchases, the purchase is made by an officer with their own money. The officer gets a receipt for the purchase and then fills out a form to get reimbursed from the 901 account. Some RSOs view this as a con because not everyone has money available to spend and wait on reimbursements. There are some pros to having a 901 account. One, it's easy to update the responsible persons listed on your account. All you have to do is contact MIT and Student Activities. And speaking of MIT and Student Activities, we are available to help your RSO learn the ins and outs associated with spending money and gaining access to your account. For off-campus bank accounts, these operate much more like a bank account that you would use personally. After an RSO deposits money, you would usually have a debit card or a checkbook, so a pro for this type of an account is that you can directly spend the money without having to wait for reimbursements. A con associated with the off-campus bank account is that the account needs to be open in someone's name and for security reasons, there's really strict rules on how to transfer ownership of accounts between officers of the RSO. This security is good because you don't want someone to run away with your money, but it does require RSO officers to be responsible to each other in times of officer transition. Another con is that because MIT and Student Activities team members are not on that bank account, we really can't provide any information or help you manage your account. I've mentioned MIT and Student Activities and the support that we can give. What does that mean or what does that look like? First, if you want to know if you have a 901 account or if you want to check your balance, you can just contact us. You can do that at rso-office at mnsu.edu or you can stop by CSU 173 or give us a call at 507-389-6076. We also have provided instructions on how to use your 901 account, how to get reimbursed, how to make deposits, and that's all located in the RSO handbook, which you can find at mnsu.edu slash RSO dash resources. And then last, to update your 901 account, there is a form on Mav Central that you can fill out. We do want your Mav Central roster to match the request you're making, so make sure you update your roster. And then we limit who's on the account to three people. Typically, it is the president, the treasurer, and the RSO advisor. So now that you know more about 901 accounts, off-campus bank accounts, and how MIT can support your RSO, you are equipped to make an informed decision about how your RSO chooses to manage your money. And decide you will.